Experience is what all of these organizations really want. It's all, what all these organizations are really looking for. And the way that you get experience is start applying for jobs. I mean, in the beginning, you're going to have to start from the bottom. And what I mean by that is customer support for IT, help desk. If, and if you've graduated, your degree, your graduate degree is actually a pretty good thing to put on your resume. So you want to put that in your resume. Uh, anytime you've ever volunteered on the, on the university or the college, you want to put that on there. Another thing that you can do is volunteer your time at your university. Whatever university you're at, go ahead and volunteer your time. That will also help you out. So I hope that I hope that those that helps you out. I mean, another place that you can do is uh, to volunteer your time to get that experience. Remember the name of the game. Like in the beginning, you might you're not going to make a lot of money in the beginning. You're not going to you might not make any money in the beginning. But the thing is, all the experience that you get is like can be cashed in at some point, if that makes any sense. In the beginning, it's low. It's it's a little slow. But as soon as you get about that one year of experience, and it depends on your experience, because if you get certain kinds of experience, you only need about six months or less. So what kind of field are you going to go into? I could probably help you out a little bit. Like what, what's your degree in and what field are you going into? What I mean to say that is that your cyber, if you say your cybersecurity or your IT, that's a huge, that's a very broad field. Like you got, you've got, um, databases you've got customer service you've got uh software development you've got information security officer security compliance you've got networking like what kind of actual job are you like prepped to do and, and what kind of it have you do you have you said no experience oh computer science degree okay in computer science um what would you say that you could do right now? Like, is there anything that you could just, you got in a company, you could just hit the ground running? Have you ever done, do you have any actual experience when you were in school? Did they have labs where you guys all together set up a lab? I know when I was in school, what we did was, one of the more fun things we did was we set up a lab in our classroom. <laughs> and then we hooked up uh, firewalls to see how the firewalls worked. Each one of us set up like a little network and then we created a firewall and then we start pinging each other back and forth and then we had a, a a packet sniffer to see like what happens with the with the packets as you block certain ports you know and so that gave me a a, a real solid understanding of networking you know uh so that that's what i'm asking you like what kind of experience in the in the actual school setting do, do you have or was it all purely papers and, and academia and, and no actual hands-on stuff but again if i were you if i was in your position having graduated with your master's degree or your bachelor's degree in computer science what i would do is i would you can volunteer at the school to help them set up networks uh you could uh if you if you go to church you know or some kind of other community activities on a regular basis go there volunteer your time say hey you guys you know what this would be good if we had another network here do you guys want to set up another um another ap another um a wireless access point you guys want to you know like volunteer your time so that you can put that experience on your resume each one all of your experience is money it's cash money okay and so you said i did pen testing module i did a pen testing module and that's good. That's great. That's going to give you a solid understanding of uh, networking, cybersecurity, and you probably know some of the ethics behind cybersecurity. That's all good and well, but you really got to get in that time. Go to the school. Say, hey, do you guys apply for the school? They might have job openings. You know, Go there and be like, hey, I'm trying to uh, do a little bit of, I, I would love to volunteer my time here. You know, so so that's the kind of things that you want to do. Um, I got my first cut in, of experience in uh, in the military is where they and they kind of just throw you in there. So that's where mine comes from. I don't recommend going into to the military just for the sake of getting computer experience. That's not you don't have to go that far. Uh, that's that's a huge dedication right there. But what you could do is. Uh, 
is just and another thing you can do is just go ahead and apply for a job let me let me show you what i'm what i was talking about here as far as applying for jobs so if you go to let's just go to indeed.com and uh let me just show you what i mean here and i don't know what i don't know where you are but let's say you're in virginia va let's say you're in virginia beach virginia I'm on indeed.com. You can do this on any job site. So they've got some entry level jobs here. Help desk is no, is a typical engineering entry level position. And that's what we are looking at right here. And this is starting off at 35. And I know that's not a lot. That's not a super high amount. But what you're looking for right now is experience, not so much money. Because you're once you get in, you're going to learn a lot of these things. You're going to actually have hands on experience with many of these things you're looking at here and that experience once you put that on your resume is going to boost this from 35 to 45 to 50 to 60 to 70 on up on up so there you go entry level there's some other keywords you can put here entry level it entry level it support uh information just basic information technology but you want to look for that entry level type words entry level is the key word there so and it, it's it's going to take a while. It's it's not going to be glamorous, you know. But just think, like you're, it's almost like you're saving. You're like you're putting you're putting uh, you're investing in yourself. You're putting some some of that experience away in your bank, like it's being banked, banked, banked. And then once you get enough experience in certain things, and what you're going to find is once you start banking that experience, you'll find that certain things that you do are worth a lot more than other things. And let me, I can actually, let's kind of go through this real quick. Let me just point out a couple things. As you're going through and getting this experience, you'll find things like, I'm just kind of glancing through this and uh, looking for things that, that give you a lot of, that just cash money experience. When you get deeper into IT, this right here, this certification right here is a good one to get. Once you, you'll find that this is a highly marketable. We talk about this on this channel all the time. The Security Plus certification, highly marketable certification. And you'll see, like, look at this. You notice how the they want a degree, right? Not much, you know, as little as an, an AA. But once you get this and a degree, this certification, and this certification basically is proof of what you know that on your resume is going to also help you to get that experience now look at this now check this out there's another thing you kind of want to look at help desk one year of experience now it's preferred not required that's a very important thing because this right here is saying that they will take you now if it's you versus a person with a year of experience who has a degree you know yeah they're probably going to get the job and this wasn't put out that long ago look at that that's that's actually a, a month ago. But what we could do is say, when was this posted? Let's say anything in the last 24 hours, nothing. Okay, not a good, not a good one. Let's say anything in the last three days. Yeah, so this one was put out in the last three days. There we go. And you don't have to just use this one. I would highly suggest doing LinkedIn. Careerjet.com is another good one. Let me see if I can let me let me see if I can grab another couple ones here. This is a really good site right here. It's just like Indeed. It's kind of a clone of Indeed, to be honest with you. I've got a course that walks you through how to how to best use each one of these things I'm showing you. So you want to check that one out too if you if you're so inclined. Let's just put IT. Uh, entry level see is you see how other little things pop up here other keywords that's awesome you want to use those internships help desk junior let's look at that one and then you want to put your state here let's put uh well this is looking throughout the entire united states so you're gonna have way more jobs when you when you put that in there but california virginia it's kind of breaking them down by location Sometimes I'll break it down by the price they used to put that in. And let's see if we can find that. No. Like, they used to have that on there, but they don't, for whatever reason, they're not doing that no more. Salary. There we go. Let me see. Let's look at salary. 
So now it's looking by salary. You got Missoula, Montana. A lot of jobs there. Wow. Yeah, I hope that helps out. So a lot of organizations, they're looking for people with your skill set, like newly graduated people. Because they, they don't maybe they don't have a large budget and they don't have very complex things to do. They just need basic work done. So they're not trying to look for a dude who has 15 years of experience. They just want a person that comes in there who's bright, who's willing to work hard, who's willing to learn and listen. And that's usually younger people or uh, people who are college students who are willing to put in that work. You know, Whereas a, a person like myself is going to come in and, and expect way more pay. Expect way more responsibilities, expect way more, you know. So they're, sometimes they have a position where it's like, okay, all we need is a guy to make sure that these routers don't go down. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's all we need. We just need them to back up these servers. We need them to maintain the network. We need them to, and we only have 20 people on staff and half of them are gone most of the time. We need them to create accounts, delete accounts. We need them to know a little bit of Active Directory. Hell, we even willing to t send them the training you know, to, to learn these things. So that's the kind of organizations that you're really looking for. So I hope that helps you out, sir.